guys, it's Kelly and I'm your nutrition coach and we're talking about mindful eating today. Everybody is busy nowadays, so I'm sure you've experienced eating on the go, eating in your car, eating in front of your computer, or being distracted while you're eating or feeling really emotional and trying to eat. And so these things actually impact our overall health. Not only does it impact our physical health, it also affects our mental health a lot. So what is mindful eating? I think generally people know that it's about being present while you're eating and being in the moment, tasting and savoring the flavors and the textures of your food and really being mindful that you're actually fully chewing your food because this actually helps with digestion and nutrient absorption, right? So if you're constantly on the go and you're busy, having mindful eating is a way to reconnect your mind and your body. On top of that, emotionally speaking, we tend to eat foods when we're feeling like more negative, you know? If we're feeling sad, if we're feeling stressed, if we're feeling lonely, or even if we're feeling bored, we tend to overeat or turn to food, which creates a really negative relationship with food, and it makes us also feel really guilty and shameful. So it leads to a lot of other emotional challenges, which I think is the most important part of improving your health and lifestyle. It has to do with your mindset and how you're treating yourself. And so emotionally wise, like mindful eating is really helpful for you to get a hold of your own emotions and to be aware and observe them. But other benefits of mindful eating is also improved digestion. Like I had mentioned before, you have less bloating and also you just feel more empowered to make healthier choices because you realize that what you're currently doing is not making you feel or look your best. Now we're going to talk about how you can actually practice this in six simple steps. First step is to really set an alarm reminder for your meals. I know this seems really like too simple, but I like to keep things super simple so people can actually do this. But I think if you're the type, like I'm the type of person to like keep working and then I forgot that I need to eat, or maybe you're busy and you keep pushing back your meal times because you're like, Oh, I don't have time to eat right now, so I'm gonna have to push it back later. And what that does is once you push past the point of hunger, you're gonna eventually overeat. And most likely you're probably gonna pick something that is not the healthiest for you. So setting those times and sticking with those times is really essentially key to how you can start practicing mindfulness. Now, number two is putting your distractions away. So this is super important. We're constantly on our phone, we're constantly on our computers, constantly multitasking or doing something else. So in order to be present and to be mindful, the best way is to flip over your phone or put your phone somewhere where you're not gonna touch it. Don't have the TV on, don't listen to music, just really be in the present moment so you can actually see how am I feeling in this moment while I'm about to eat? What am I gonna eat? Am I enjoying my food that I'm eating? Like give yourself permission to rest. When we're eating and we're rushing through it it just leaves us like our life is just seems really unfulfilling you know what i mean but more so emotionally we feel unsatisfied so step three in that is connecting to your emotions so how are you feeling before you're eating during and after you eat so are you feeling stressed out are you anxious are you angry what are these emotions where are they coming from and how are you using that while you're eating are you overeating or overcompensating through your food like what's going on with that so the reason why is we want to get connected with our body and our mind and the way that we do that is by connecting with our emotions and how we're feeling in that moment and also seeing like okay how can i shift my emotion right now maybe i just need to take a breath maybe i need to calm down right or maybe i just need to just focus on what is in front of me which is my food and focus on that the fourth step is taking a moment before you're eating because you may be feeling a lot of emotions or like you're so busy you don't even care about your emotions right and i totally get that too you want to take a couple of moments to take a couple of deep breaths inhale through your nose exhale through your mouth and just do that so you can relax your body so when you're eating you can calm down you can slow down you can actually enjoy your food you can actually you know recognize oh this actually tastes really good i'm really enjoying my food right now and i absolutely love it right and you can feel the food nourishing your body right and another thing about being present and taking a relaxing deep breath and kind of like relaxing beforehand is you know give gratitude for your food give thanks and i think a lot of times we take it for granted that we have food we take it for granted that we have this food that can sustain and nourish our bodies so being grateful so step five is basically properly chewing and savoring your food. I know there's a lot of experts that say you should 
count your chews and do all those things. And I feel like this is a really intuitive step, so you kind of have to feel it with your own body. But basically, you want to savor the food and the texture, right? Don't scarf down your food because most likely you're going to overeat or you're going to feel really terrible or you might feel more bloated afterward, especially if you're not properly chewing your food. And you can have heartburn, you can have constipation. There's a lot of health issues that can be caused from not chewing your food properly. One idea that you can use is putting down your eating utensils between each bite. And I know usually like I'm like not doing that. I'm just like eating, right? Like one bite after the other, after the other. Slow it down and put your utensil down and just chew your food, okay? This is gonna help you with digestion so much and your body can more easily absorb the nutrients that is coming from your food too. So that's definitely one. And also just to keep in mind, it takes our body at least 20 minutes to start signaling our brain that we're full. Okay, 20 minutes. Usually, you know, people be scarfing down their food and they're like done in like 10, 15 minutes. You know, especially if you're busy, right? And that's really normal. So give yourself enough time to actually feel full and satisfied and for your brain and your body to actually register that. So the sixth and final step is to reflect on how you feel after you eat. And I know there's a lot of reflection because this is more of a mental activity than anything else. But really, how does your meal make you feel? Do you feel more energized or do you feel more lethargic and tired? Write these down, okay? Like all of these things, I feel like your emotions with your food, the best way is to like write them down. But examine that and find the patterns that might not be helping you. Okay, it might not be benefiting in how you feel or within your body because we want to eat to fuel and feel good, right? So that's the whole purpose of being mindful while we're eating. So I hope that helped. If it did, comment below. I'd love to make more series videos like this. 